makes no goddamn sense. Hey, Caesar. Hey, dude, what's up? I need you to meet me at Pier 69. We gonna take down the loco syndicate. Okay, Holmes, you need some backup? Nah, man, I got it covered. All right, still just in time for Amphibious Assault. Let's go. I guess technically we're skipping a cutscene because um, I have enough lung capacity. Whereas usually you'd get a bonus cutscene if you didn't have enough, but whatever. It's quite a good cutscene too, it's a shame. But, oh. Oh. Am I not going to make it now because I fell off my fucking bike? Yeah, it's the one where he talks about getting a condom stuck to his face. And... I hope I make this. Oh my god, there's another bike. Well, now I'm not going to make it. I was going to, but then I got fucking screwed. By a random bike and it was too dark, I couldn't see it. Well, time to buy this and save like a fucking pleb. My bike is gone. Why? My bikes keep fucking despawning for no fucking reason. Well, there goes my NRG, which I was going to use for later missions. Awesome. That is quite a big time loss. Hold on. You trying to tell me you can't swim? Seriously, when I'm in the deep water, it, it panics me. Plus, I'm terrified of eels and squid and seaweed and... Okay, dude, see, I know you're just trying to make excuses now. Look, CJ, I need someone from outside the triad who I can trust. All right, so let me get this straight. You want me to swim around in dirty dock water, dodging little brown jelly beans and Vietnamese gangsters, to put a bug on a boat in the harbor? You're so negative. Listen, man. When I was a kid, swimming off the oh, wait, he Marie, still says this. I once got a condom stuck to my face. <laughs> Horror like that stays with you for life. Believe that. I thought that was in the doesn't doesn't have enough cutscene, but it's not. I have a confession to make. I um. I'm blind. No shit! Yeah. Although I've trained my other senses to a point where you wouldn't notice my handicap, in the water, they'd be quite useless. All right, Woozy, relax. Don't beat yourself up about it. Look, I'll do it. What a twist. Yeah, the other one is where they play a video uh, game. Yeah, I got it mixed up. You do know that I'm black, right? And not Chinese. I'm blind, Carl, not stupid. All right, let's go. Hopefully I get a bike for PS69. There was a cop bike there. It's kind of shit though. I mean, oh, I'm not kidding. I'll fucking take it. It's better than nothing. DCJ would have been way better, but... Alas. At least I have a spare PGJ in the garage that I can use for interdiction. At the very least.
have to send this thing. I always forget this. It's way better to send it so you don't have to swim all the way back. Buddy. There's a check has been down there too long. Got to come up for air at some point. Always felt like meant to, there was meant to be more to this mission. I don't know, I find this mission okay. It's definitely worse ones out there. I should want to buy it. Thank you, thank you. What was gonna say? I'm actually pretty good at this game. Hey, Holmes, I'm up here. Go around the back. If you're gonna give me a free PCJ, I'm gonna Damn. take it. Hey man, nice job getting that phone message. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So what's the plan? T-Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit! Me now we're gonna have to take our T-Bones on the rooftop before this whole gig blows wide open. Hello? Shit, they walked right into it! What the fuck? One of those triad boys is down! <laughs> How did that guy get down there? I've never seen that before. Hey, there's still some on the left, CJ! <laughs> Yo. Welcome, 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 welcome. It feels great to stand before you and not have auto side waiting for me. It feels amazing, honestly. Looking fresh, you too, thank you. So, original plan was to do the final mission. However, we're going to have to make a slight detour. And that's because I believe I now know how to beat naval engagement and how to, avoid, uh, how to avoid the crash. So Root and a few other people were looking into like the code of the mission to see where a possible crash could happen. And what they deciphered was that the hunter has 1,700 health. And for some reason, I don't know exactly how it works, maybe Style or somebody else can provide more context, but later on, if the hunter's health isn't a certain value or less, which they believe is 901, aka, like, if it has more than half HP at a certain point, the game will crash. I don't know why. I don't know why it's written like that. It's clearly a bug, but it makes sense because I never shot the hunter, ever. So it's always full health when I get to that segment, so it always crashes because it doesn't have a low enough health total, right? That, that makes sense in my head. And when Guy Wood was doing it earlier, he started shooting at the hunter at the start to lower its health, and he was able to avoid the crash as well. So, 
we're going to have to give naval engagement some tries. It's a really tough mission, and we're also going to have to try and avoid the crash. But there's a chance that we can make it through, and if we do, then we can do every single mission. Because I always dislike the idea of having, like, you know, all missions except these two because I couldn't beat them due to a crash. So, yeah. Yo, James. True. <gasps> Ugh, fuck it up. And yeah, at this point, I'm going to enjoy every second of every mission, because in my head, all I'm going to be thinking is at least this is an auto side. That's all I'm going to be thinking. Because we fucking did it. So yeah, when we load in, we're going to be at right next to the, like, the final mission, but we're not going to be doing it. Not yet, anyway. So apologies for that cliffhanger, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Because we have some other shit to do. So let's go and give naval engagement a try. I'm not saying this will work. I haven't tested it myself. Maybe it won't. But it's worth a try. I think. And it will also mean we can do Trojan Voodoo as well. Because before, I wasn't able to do that mission without doing naval engagement. And it would be a shame to miss an entire mission. And I've never even seen it, like, you know, at all. Whereas naval engagement, like, I've seen most of the mission. So, yeah. Yeah, it sounds, that sounds about right. Style. So, let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. The worst, worst thing that can happen is we just end up in the same place. We'll give it a go. Yo, Shikari. Yo, Super Black White. Yo, Enzio. Yo, Riggy. Hope you're well as well, man. Good to see you. Yo, King Eddie. Welcome. 45 watch streak. Yeah. Super Black White is legit, like, the biggest geek I've ever met. Yo, James, thanks for gifting him a sub. Geekiness rewarded. Yeah, dedicated e-benders. Let's go. Gang missions. Did you uh, finish Trojan Voodoo, guy? You happy yet? <laughs> Am I trying with naval engagement? You'll see. So the idea of this is, if you guys haven't seen it, is it's a really tough auto-scroller because a lot of these people also have shotguns and stuff. And they have like assault rifles and shit as well. So you've got to be really on it, and you've also got to shoot... Um, it'll take me a while to get used to this again. But I also need to shoot the hunter. That's very important. Whenever I see it, I need to shoot the hunter. Which I think spawns next to this bridge. I have to lower the health of this hunter. That is absolutely vital to avoid my game crashing. So now, we go for it. I have no idea how much damage I did. There's no way to know, but I'm hoping that I did some damage. And whenever I say it, we'll do it. I finished the one from yesterday, Paul. This guy has a shotgun. I need to remember about him. Go shoot it again. I didn't do a lot of damage there. I should have done a bit more. That person, I swear, is like impossible to hit. They're just too fucking far away. Hello, Nubis. Thank you. Your Marquise, your PHP, your flow, your Luke, welcome, welcome everyone. Sorry, I'm. It's it's hard to reach out and do this hard auto scroller at the same time. As you can see, like it's not easy to hit these guys even at the best of times. But the important bit, shoot the hunter. That's the important bit. Even if we die, shoot the hunter. Because we're gonna die if we don't shoot the hunter anyway. There's a guy on this bit as well. Got him. I might need to turn my... That guy has a shotgun, too. I might need to turn my sensitivity even further down. No, this mission is not fixed. Nothing in this mod is fixed. The developer has done nothing since I started playing this months ago. Uh, I can load this. This one now. <laughs> yeah, guy, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain now that it's that's, like, relevant. All right. What is my sensitivity set to in my mouse binds? Hold on. Because I have 400 and 800, but I need to lower it even further. 
Uh, do do a hundred. Okay, let's go like two fifty. That should be better. It's really low right now, but it'll increase quite a lot soon. Uh, these cars are really shit, but sure. Yeah, the, the damage that you do to the hunter over the mission accumulates, yeah. So in theory, you should be able to take it out pretty easily if you just shoot it while you, you know, in between other sections. <sighs> yeah, we've had a ton of people, however, that have been saying like, fuck, I can't believe that I missed the end of auto side. Like, so many people missed it, but then so many people were there at the same time, you know? Can't- can't be there for everything, sadly. It's just a really confusing mission. I mean, yeah, like, I- I, I did this, like, ten times before, and survived, you know, four of them, but then crashed right at the end due to something that wasn't communicated with me. Like... There's no way to know that you're supposed to shoot the hunter, because the hunter doesn't really attack you. Like, if you look at what the hunter does, he just misses. He's, like, scripted to miss. So I never saw the point in shooting it. Like, why would I shoot it? What's the point? But you need to shoot it, is the answer, because otherwise your game crashes. But if the hunter was actually attacking me, then of course I would shoot it, you know? But you have to shoot it, you don't have a choice. It's really weird. I don't get it at all. Alright, we need to pre-fire this shotgun guy. He's the biggest threat by a mile. This guy here. Killed him. Good. Getting a kill there is really good. The low sense is definitely helping. This guy, I swear you can't kill. I'm gonna say it every single time until somebody believes me. <clears throat> the game never crashed for me there. I just blew up and died. Yeah, it's weird. I honestly, I don't know, like, why it doesn't work for some people and why it does for others. I, I have legit no idea. But I've got quite a few hits on it. I feel like I should be alright. Now I just need to get there. That's the hard part. But obviously this mission is still really hard regardless of the hunter. Because, like, you're bouncing around constantly. Yeah, I'm on 1 HP. I think I'm fucked. But this is where I would crash. So I've got to blow up the hunter, I think. Yep. So, there is where I would crash every single time. I've never made it further than this. I'm probably still gonna die, but that that, that is the crash solved. Legit. Oh, no, my game crashed anyway. It crashed here instead. <laughs> Fucking hell. W was that a random crash or was that just the same thing? Who knows? Impossible to tell. But yeah, I think it crashed because I died. I think the game just can't handle me dying. I think if I survive, I'll be fine. And obviously, you know, I need to survive anyway to progress, so... It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it'll take me a while to memorize the spawns and get some good shots off. Because as I say, this auto-scroller is really tough. They all have really accurate rifles. So, gotta be careful. But I'm curious to see what Trojan Voodoo is like. Honestly. Because I haven't seen anything about that mission. What else could you do to defend from the aimbots? Well, that's the thing. It's not really a lot. Like, you're kind of stuck. You you can't really do anything here. The only other thing that you could do is you could do the uh, the ammunition glitch to give yourself a much better weapon, like a sniper or something, and just blow up all the boats, or like a shotgun or something, you know? Like a Spaz-12. If you had a Spaz-12 here, this would be a joke. But obviously, you know, that is heavy glitching, which I'm not doing in this playthrough. Oh, 
That's a random guy. <laughs> I didn't. I ate the shotgun guy. That's really bad. Look how much damage he does. It's crazy. If you don't kill that guy, I'm pretty sure you're just dead. Because like, you're forced to take damage here to these guys. Yeah. It's over. Shame you can't get the rhino out. Yeah. Yeah, I got mega baited by that random NPC. Yeah, I just... I didn't kill anyone. I missed, like, every single fucking shot. Never gonna make it through. Why does he have increased rate of fire? Why are you asking me? Why is this mission made like pure shit? I don't know. I didn't fucking make it. How good do you need to aim? You need to aim really well. You need to pre-fire a lot of people to even stand a chance. It didn't crash this time. It never crashes uh, before the bit that I mentioned before. It only crashes when you get to that big open point with the finale with the hunter. Nothing has been fixed, Felix. I don't know why everyone's assuming that because I'm doing this mission, it's like, oh, it must have been patched. No, nothing has been patched. The dev has done absolutely no work on this mod since 1.4, which is the patch that I've been playing on since I started. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. Whoops. Shot him after he'd already done all that fucking damage. I might need to lower my sense even further, dude. Even on 250, it feels too high. <sighs> I got like nothing on that there. I need to keep shooting until I reload. Because otherwise I get caught reloading when shooting the, uh, the, what's it called? And here as well. Yeah. If I eat three shots from that guy, I'm just going to reload because it's it's over. He does 75% of my health. Wasn't it for non pen you needed to do the same for? Okay, what do you mean by the same? Like, what? The same what? Oh, lower the sense, yeah. I lowered it to like, I want to say like 200, maybe even lower, 150 or something. Because the, the mouse sensitivity is so broken in this mod. It's like almost unplayable at regular DPI. Like I use 800 DPI in regular VC, and I'm having to use 200 in this for it to feel like 800. It's just, it's so bad. I'm going to go 200. Does your sense feel like steps? Yeah, it skips pixels all the time, yeah. Like, it's not smooth at all. That guy did a ton of damage to me right away. Right. What is happening? The boat is just completely fucking glitching out. Cool. I took 75% of my health before I even got to that guy that time, which is interesting. Usually I'm on 75% health before I get to that shotgun guy, and this time I was on 25% all of a sudden. I did the same thing as last time. Yo, Valix, welcome. Hello, Relix. Welcome.
It's not so much the hitboxes that bother me, Fika. It's the fact that, like, when you're in a boat and it's an AI driving the boat, you're always fucking moving everywhere. So even if you have a really good angle on somebody, the boat just moves your aim out the way, so you're constantly fighting the camera. Just showed up. Has the crashing problem with this mission been resolved? We're testing now. I just need to get there, because it's already hard enough to get to this point of the mission where we can test it. Yo, Mr. Luigi, thanks. The reloadability doesn't matter. It wouldn't make a difference here. Reloading takes like a second with this gun. Hello, Setsunai. Welcome. Yeah, the constant bobbing up and down. Yeah, exactly. The camera is always moving, and you're always fighting against it. Okay, good. I got him there. Oh, but I took all that damage somehow anyway. What? I, I literally killed him before he shot me once, and all of a sudden, still, I'm dead. Like, this mission is so so weirdly inconsistent. Like, I shot all the right people there, and I had 10% health. But then sometimes I don't kill anyone and I have 70% health, like... Very, very consistent and epic. Yeah, I, I beat all outside. I beat all outside just a slow. Finished it at the end. Hunter gives scripted damage until you blow it up. Okay, but I I haven't blown it up in any of my playthroughs, so that doesn't explain the randomly losing 90% of my health. No, we only have three missions left, Wolf. I'm just trying to avoid a crash on this one to see if it's possible to beat. happening i tried to shoot until i needed to reload and then apparently i just had a full clip so then as soon as i got to the guy where i have to shoot him i i needed to reload and just ate shit very cool can i have a car please 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 what is this literally every single car like four in a row spawning driving away from me instead of towards me it was an ITO, yeah. We're testing to see if we can avoid the crash. Uh, I don't know yet, Root. <laughs> Because I made it past that section where I originally crashed once, and I did survive, but then my game crashed seven seconds later. So, I'm just trying to lower my sense. I'm at 150 DPI right now. Look at this. This is 150 DPI, and look how quickly I can move my mouse around the fucking thing. Like, it's so broken. It's fucking disgusting. Like, it's so unplayable. Is the in-game sense default? Yeah, I haven't touched it. I always just change it on my mouse.
This is probably already a reset, but I'll try it. Yeah. This guy's gonna kill me now, because he doesn't miss. Could tell it was a reset from a mile away. The only way I survive is if I pre-fire absolutely everybody and don't miss a single shot from now on. And I missed the shot. GG. Look at how slowly I'm having to move my mouse in the menus. It's like unplayably low, but then it's way too high in the auto scrollers. Literally one file, one DLL fixes this problem. But it's still broken in this mod. One file that you can include. Yo Katusa, thank you for the kind words. I'll do my best. Add the DLL yourself. If I was going to mod the mod, I would just, you know, it opens a whole can of worms. I'll keep that in mind, Kit Kats, but my hun the hunter is not my concern right now. At all. It is these guys. Fuck's sake. Like, I swear I'm on him. But I just, I can't hit him to save my life. Like, there, my crosshair is on him for several seconds. And it's just... I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, my crosshair is directly on them. Pixel perfectly for several seconds, and I just don't hit them somehow. Boss is a PCJ though. Uh, I died and then I'm... Well, my game crashed before I died, but I'm pretty sure the game crashed because I died, if that makes sense. Like, my HP was really low, I got shot, and then the game crashed. So, I'm pretty sure... That, like, I just didn't have enough health left. Run out of health, and then the game crashed. I just need to survive this original onslaught. Like, this first bit is so fucking hard. I'm gonna lower my sense even further. We're on 100 DPI right now. That's the lowest my mouse will go. I can't go any lower than this. And look at how sensitive it still is. Like, I don't know if this is even doing anything. It feels the same. The only difference is I'm having to drag my mouse way harder. There is a sense setting in game, but it doesn't work properly. That's the issue. Yep. This is over again. Did you tinker with Windows mouse settings? No. Why would I do that?
Yeah, like this is literally just only a thing with the mod. My mouse works fine. Everything else is working fine. It's just the mod that doesn't work properly and my game crashed again. I'm having to fucking drag my mouse across my entire screen to fucking use my desktop. Yes, Root, but the original crash was when I had more than zero health. The Hunter one. So there's two different ways to crash in this mod, and you have to avoid both of them. One is based on your HP, and one is based on the Hunter. Unless, yeah, it's what Style is saying. Which is when you get to that certain section, the hunted kills you, which then causes the game crash. But it doesn't explain why sometimes I die and the, mis and the game doesn't crash. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense. Fucking hell. I'm just not hitting anything. <laughs> we have three missions to go as the bubbles were. Yeah, it does. I, I fully believe him. He's, he's a smart guy. Uh, you might be pedaling for a long time, Robert. Sorry in advance. You might need an amputation after uh, after this stream's done. I just love a bit of ABBA. Same. We are actually watching on the weekend. It was on the TV. Um, Mamma Mia 2. I've never actually seen the second one. I've only seen the first one in, in cinema. The second one was good. Have I seen Scarface? I've seen the film, yeah. Yeah, there's like no way I'm hitting that from the... Got that guy there. That's good. I killed that guy, holy shit. That's the first and only time I've ever killed that guy. Yeah, we're on the mission that crashes. But there's new new ideas that to avoid the crash. New strategies. That I'm trying to test. But obviously it's just really fucking hard to get there. Because the mission's already hard enough as it is. This is a good run. But all it takes is one choke against the shotgun guy. Well, I say choke, like, I'm pretty convinced. Look at this, like, how the fuck am I supposed to fucking shoot anyone with this fucking boat? Like, it's just, it's just fucking flipping constantly. It's so stupid. Like, this was such a good run. I still had 25% health left, and then I just get fucking screwed by this dog shit boat driver. 
And now I'm fucked. I'm gonna 100% tank to take damage here. Yeah. It's such fucking bullshit. That was literally the best run I've ever had. And the boat driver just decides to drive, like... ...into walls constantly, right next to a shotgun guy, so I just lose all my health. Nothing I can do about it. So fucking annoying. Yeah, I passed auto side yesterday. I did indeed. You just eat those shots with the wide turn, yeah. That one and the guy, you know, like on the golf course island, that's really far away guy that I keep like mentioning. I'm convinced like it's 99% impossible to sh hit those guys. They're so far away. It's such bullshit. Like, look how fucking hard it is to hit somebody at mid-range. Never mind from that far away. I wonder if people have spawned before you get to Rico's market. I would very much doubt it. This is over again. Like, this guy, there's no way. Doing this with an M4 or an M60, I could pass this consistently. There's no doubt in my mind. Because the M60, you could just blow up the boats. You wouldn't even need to try and hit the, uh... The people, you could just hit the boats. Yep, I can definitely hit this guy. Fucking unbelievable, man. Like, the fucking... The fucking boat is like this. My only choice is to shoot the water below me. I can't get an angle on anyone. You know it's bad when people are like pointing out the times that the game doesn't crash during a mission. Usually it's like you point out the time that it does crash because it's a rarity. Yo Squawky, welcome. What causes crashes? Oh, that's an easy one. I can answer that. Uh, this mod is made really poorly. This mod is extremely unfinished, unpolished, and untested.
So. <laughs> the guy hits a wall. As I'm about to hit the shotgun guy, the fucking Rico hits a wall and completely throws my aim off by 45 degrees. It's just like hilarious. Where where is the consistent ability to to beat this mission? Like, what 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 do I not have that the mod developer does that he is able to beat this mission consistently? What am I missing? <laughs> Yo, Rob. Um, something like that, yeah. We, we may have found a way to have this mission not consistently crash. But now the only problem is we actually need to fucking beat the mission. And... Just awful. Who said the mod developer has ever beat the mission? The mod developer said that. They said, verbatim, that they are able to beat every single mission with 100% consistency, if you're good enough. It has been playtested, so every mission is beatable consistently. If you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. And yet, I'm just not good enough. That's really good, that double kill. Maybe he's just cracked and we aren't at his level yet? Yeah, maybe. He's literally better than one of the best Vice City players to ever exist. Me, obviously. Not Guy, me. I'm the best. Yeah, I beat auto side yesterday, Rob. Not to flex or anything, but kind of a god at this game. Okay, this guy, that guy legit just didn't miss a single bullet. He fired 20 bullets at me and didn't miss a single one. Awesome. Well, we had a chance at beating this. That chance is very quickly disappearing with that guy. I don't think I survived these guys now. It's always these guys that get me. Yep. All that had to happen there for me to make it through was, uh, was for that one guy on the corner to not hit every single bullet. And he did. What can we say? What vanilla mission does this reply? It's, it's naval engagement. Now, there, there is no way this is harder than auto side. There is no way. Hard? Yeah. Do I expect this to take 10 hours? No. I've already made it to the end, apart from one last set of guys, like three times. Like, I didn't make it to the end once on my first day of doing auto side attempts. Completely forgot about that first guy. Luckily, I fucking wrecked him anyway. What we've learned so far, Rob, is that you have to damage the hunter prematurely. Um, because basically, later on, there's a section where you 1v1 the hunter, and if the hunter damages you, then your game crashes. But if you can shoot the hunter enough to start off with, you can actually kill it before it does, like, triggers that bit. So you blow it up prematurely if you're good enough. It's just really fucking hard to do. 
Because shooting these guys is hard enough anyway. But I've also got to shoot the shit out the hunter as well. Is this the hardest mod you've played? No, not by a long shot. Because this mod isn't hard at all. Flipping coins is not difficult. Are there more assassination missions? Yes, but I've done them all. I did auto side, check out of the check in and loose ends all yesterday, which is all of them. Three, four, and five. What if they made a mission where you flip a coin and if you lose, it deletes the game from your hard drive? I mean, that would just be a blessing, right? I'd reset until I hit, you know, lose it. Thank God. I can see guys claiming this mod is good. I mean, just go to my YouTube comments. There are so many people that defend this mod. And their, their argument is always the same. This mod is supposed to be hard. Therefore, when it's bullshit design and unplayable, it's supposed to be hard. So therefore, you accepted that you were going to play it at a hard level. It's like, no, no, but my point isn't that it's hard. My point is that it's really badly designed. Yeah, but it's supposed to be hard. So therefore it's okay. That's that's the conversation. Okay, man. Like, like what do you even say to that? I have this issue. Okay, I'm making this entirely other irrelevant point. Okay, but I still have this issue. Okay, but this irrelevant point, I'm gonna repeat it again, okay? You win, I guess. Like. I don't really have a response to that. That's really good, getting that early kill. Now I just need to not get screwed by these guys. That's a really good shot. Ugh, but I still took an absolute fuck ton of damage from that one guy. But I have a shot. I don't even know who to shoot here. Like, who has the biggest gun? No. Like, I don't know who to shoot there. I've just got to pick one of them and go for it and... Didn't hit anything. Even though I swear I'm, my crosshair's right on them. Have you gotten past here yet? No, that's the first, that that attempt right there is the furthest I've got. What's wrong with you people? From software has been been making hard but fair games for years now. That really made me laugh. Somebody uh made a comparison to Dark Souls in my YouTube comments the other day, basically saying about how like you know people play Dark Souls, but that's a really hard game that's supposed to be hard, and it's like man, like again, like what do you want me to say to that? Dark Souls games, apart from very specific examples, which also deserve criticism in their own right, like, for example, in Dark Souls 1, the fact that you take force damage when going into the Stray Demon fight is a good example of poor design. But aside from that, all of the damage in Dark Souls, as evidenced by the fact that people beat them without taking any damage, is avoidable, if you're good enough. That's my entire point. This mod, almost every single emission has unavoidable damage. Every single one.
It's good. If we're over half health here, we're in really good shape. Not as good as last time, but it's promising. That's not good. Less promising now. My God. Wide turn, it's over. Never mind, I got a really lucky pot shot on that guy. But I don't know if I've done enough damage to the hunter. Nope. Didn't hit the hunter enough. Everything else went really well, but... Aren't you getting nauseous from the boat camera? No. I don't suffer from motion sickness. If you do, I'm sorry, but I literally can't do anything about it. Blame the mod developer who has coded this dog shit into this mod. Yeah, DPS check failed. Good ending, Corey. That is really good. It's a really good start. Really good, wow. I don't think I've ever killed that many people. Like that. I usually don't even bother to go for the left guy, but I was like, why not? I've got like a few shots and... Yeah. We're still only on half health because that, that guy at the golf course decided to fucking pound me anyway. So, we'll see. Not good. Yeah, I'm just getting fucking rinsed now. Never mind. Yeah. There goes all my health. That was literally the best start I ever had. Still a chance, but it's really low. Did I get away with it? I think I did. I didn't get anyone, but I'm one HP. Or is this guy gonna kill me? No way, I thought it was over. This guy's gonna kill me. We're not through, there's one more guy. I didn't know he existed. Fucking hell. I really thought I'd gotten lucky enough to make it through with one HP, but no, of course not. So sad to get that far. <laughs> Why am I going this way?
What was the hardest mission so far? None of them. All of the ones that were skill-based weren't that difficult at all. I see the bugs being fixed. Nope. What was the most unfair mission so far? Has to be Robot. It just has to be. There's like 70 different ways that that mission can fail on you. That's out of your control. It's just pure bullshit. 20 minutes of unplayable garbage. Yeah, that guy just unloaded two full clips and didn't miss a single bullet. Awesome. <sighs> yeah, boom shine Saigon, definitely. But the thing is, is that like it's only it's such a short mission is the only thing. If Boonshine Saigon was 20 minutes long, it would be that by far. Like minute to minute gameplay. Boonshine Saigon is the worst, but Robot is so long. Ben, why don't I get notifications when you're live? Probably because you're using Twitch for notifications, which has always been garbage. Stop using them. Use something else like Discord or Twitter. Possibly Sam Squanch. We're testing it right now. Discord notifications. Well, unless it's randomly bugged out today, Discord notifications come through almost instantly. No, no, no. This has to be the one. Clueless. Surely. Got one of them. That's the first time I've killed either of those guys. 1v1, let's go. Where even is he? I don't even see him. He's fucking miles away, but I got him. I fucking got him! Now what? Because here's the funny part. This mission has two more sections, and I've never seen them. And if I die, we're going to go right back to the start. Like, this is not even close to over. Okay. I guess we're fighting on here. Yep. Collect all the briefcases filled with the drugs and cash. Okay. And of course they take my fucking M4 away. Why wouldn't they? Okay, now I need to change my sensitivity back to normal. It feels so weird playing on 400 now. Holy shit. Hey, bro. Taking no chance. Jesus, my mouse is so sensitive now. I'm really not used to this. can see you up there. They're at the back. Can I even get up here? Is that like a staircase? Oh, I don't like how... Oh, there is a staircase there. I don't like how janky these physics are. What the fuck? Is that a mirror? Or is that just like... Would I, I'm not even going to risk that. I have a feeling I'm going to like clip through into the fucking back rooms if I walk in there. Hello. The one thing I definitely want is your assault rifle. Thirty bullets. Okay. Can only assume Rico's dead. The Cuban been making my love with you, son boy. Shake the head. Blow the boat to coffin wood. They're in a submarine? <laughs> Alright. Get a drugs and cash back to Umberto. I guess we're taking that. What the fuck? I'm getting shot by a fucking submarine. 
Okay, just go. Go quickly. Let's go. Uh, where are we going? No, don't fucking start a new game. Okay, so we're going back to the cafe. God, okay. I just need to get on land as soon as possible. No doubt in my mind. So, Prawn Island is the way to go. I just need to get back on land. The predators might shoot me down because I'm so fucking slow in this thing. That's my only concern. I should stop and kill them, I think. I could even switch, but that seems like suicide if I try and switch. I just know that if I miss that jump, I'm going to be so upset with myself for trying to do that stupid shit. Yeah, I don't think it's worth risking. Four stars, we should be okay on the way back. I could even get a heli if I want to play like a massive pussy. Oh, fuck, that's not good. Bro, no way. I can definitely fit under that, man. What is that? All right, let's stop fucking about. Go under this one. Yeah. It's nice and safe. Pull yourself up. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. You know what? Fuck him. Go. We're good. Now we just need to survive. Uh... There's vehicles in here somewhere, I think. There's like a Patriot somewhere, right? Yeah. What happened with auto side? I beat it, is what happened. The seaplane might be there, but I don't really want to risk that. It sounds stupid. It's a janky as fuck vehicle. I think I'm fine to just drive back, to be honest. Four stars isn't really that much of a threat. If I play super safe. Oh, yeah, I could take the heli, I'm right here. Yeah, that's dumb. Because I was thinking I'm like not near any helicopters, but I am, literally I'm right here. Excuse me. God, my sensitivity feels like I'm playing at like 3000 DPI. It's so fucking weird. So I'm used to playing at 100 during the auto scroll. Good night, Sam Squanch, thanks for hanging out. <sighs> yeah, we might get a spike strip cat crap, which is all the more reason to take the heli because if I don't spawn in If I'm not in a car, they won't throw spike strips If I'm in the sky, so All the more reason Do you think five stars is harder than six? Usually, yeah, the FBI Like give you way less time to react compared to the army, but if you're caught without a vehicle the army is, like, really scary because they'll kill you really quick on foot. Alright, go. Please don't crash. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Alright, Trojan Voodoo. Trojan fucking Buddha. That's it. Then we're actually on the last mission. Penultimate mission. Let's go. Take Pepe, head north into Little Haiti and steal a voodoo car. Is there still the voodoo here? There's usually a fixed spawn here. Of course not. Why make this mission consistent when you can make it inconsistent? Let's go find our muchachos. Hello, MC fan. We just beat we just beat naval engagement. Oh, there was one opposite the cafe. Okay, good to know. In my defense, I wasn't looking because I I didn't expect there to be a more convenient spawn. How did you prevent the crashes? So the key is to blow up the hunter before that final checkpoint. If its health is below a certain thing, it just doesn't crash for some reason. It's a it's a really dumb crash. Whoa, man, you drive like a 
crazy bitch. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hola, amigos. Oye, the summit is around the back, amigo. Bueno, hey, sin putas, muerte. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Hello, my compadres. All right, what's the meme here? Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Yep, nice one. Well, I can't move, so I assume I have to stay in formation. Maybe appropriate Haitian outfits would have been more convincing. Ah, so we're going to get attacked right away. Okay. There's another entrance to the Haitian drugs factory. This way? Hey, bud. Can I just boost over the wall? Hello? That's the entrance? There's nothing here. I guess we have to go the other way. Can I trigger it from here? No. Oh, yes, I can. Huge. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. All right, kill the Haitians. Oh, these guys have like a million health. Of course they do. I have no fucking ammo. Oh, I should have gone and got some M4. Fuck. I forgot. Well, this isn't good. Where are these guys coming from? Yeah, shoot me. Don't shoot Pe Pepe. Well, like, I didn't mean to play a replay there. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm, I'm just like stood there shooting them and he's just stood in the middle of nowhere. Like, fucking hell. Okay. Right, let me go and get um, M4 because I forgot that the fucking previous mission took it away from me. M4 would make this way easier. It wasn't a fail message. It was a message saying, hey, buddy, what do you think you're doing playing replays? Because if you play a replay, you just get killed. That's that's the that's the meme. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Rob. You can't get Haitian clothes in vanilla. There could be a pickup somewhere, but you know, how would I know it? It's not marked anywhere on the map. Shocking, I know. I'll farm like what five hundred. Come on, don't push me. <laughs> what do you do that for? But even if we get a, a pair of clothes pick up for us. Isn't everybody else still going to be in Cuban clothes? That's so not going to help. I can have a look. So I just backseat without knowing, maybe. It's all good. So I, I don't have issues with people speculating theories and stuff. But it's like, it's very obvious when you have a solution and you're like, oh, Ben, this is exactly how you beat the mission that you haven't even tried once. It's like, thanks for ruining it, man. Like, imagine how boring this playthrough would have been if every single time I started a mission, somebody who already knew what the solution was just told me and I just did it. How boring would that be? 
No, if you do that, Axio, it doesn't uh, work. You have to, like, go away from the pickup and come back. No, clothes pickups still exist. They just don't remove your wanted level. So they're basically useless. I was hoping that you knew you could just jump over from the car. I mean, yeah, like, that is very basic. But I didn't know that I could trigger the thing through the door. That's cool to know. Out of interest, because obviously I'm just going to do that going forward. Is there anything interesting there that I'm missing? Like, is there any extra content that I'm missing by doing this, like, little sequence break? Or is it just the same thing? No? Okay, then I'll keep doing it. Good to know. <laughs> Phil's guns are replaced with melee weapons and a camera, so they don't give you anything interesting. Again, I say this all the time, but apparently it's not good enough for some people. If I could buy heavy weapons, I would. If I could get heavy weapons without cheats or, gl or glitches, I would. But I can't, so I'm not. Like, if you see me without a heavy weapon, that means I cannot obtain one. Obviously, those heavy weapons would be extremely beneficial to me. The only reason I'm not using them is because I can't. Simple as that. There's really nothing else to it. What mod am I planning on playing next? You know, I was thinking about polling it. See what the people want. Maybe when I finish Hardlined, I'll poll some options. Yeah, pull it on Adams, yeah. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Whoa, man, you drive like I do a have a mod bitch. that I've lined up that I'm going to play on April Fools. That's coming up soon in a couple of weeks. But that'll be like, uh, you know, a specific one. Oh, this car is a ch classic. Classic, dude. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. That's so fucking hilarious, dude. So, so, so funny. So funny. Honestly, comedic fucking perfection. Titan Vice with Half-Life movement? That would be pretty epic, but no. Nice telegraphing, yeah. Literally no way to know that that is a trap until you're already dead. Epic. So not in, not only is there a bullshit insta-kill trap, but also then you have to randomly find a voodoo, which makes, makes this mission instantly random the second you start it. Epic. How many missions do I have left? I have this mission and the final mission. That's it. I'm hoping to beat it today, but it depends how long this mission takes. Have you done all assets? I've done all the assets with like missions. You know, like, stuff that's modified. But I haven't done, like, SSA and things like that. Although I was told that the SSA races were modified, but, you know, I'm doing all missions. Yo, much cars, thanks for the GL. Uh, distribution wasn't modified that I saw. But the, well, it, it was modified, but the modification makes you possibly softlock. So, it's fucking useless. It's not worth playing. Pole position isn't changed. I did pole position.
Yo, Snow Buddy, welcome. Alright. How did I do this last time? I just kind of looked, yeah, like stood in a certain place. Alright. We need to focus on the guys shooting re Pepe. Don't just run right off at me like that, dude. No, don't shoot him. Whoops. I have a lot more DPS now, so. Why does he just run in the middle of everyone like that, man? All right. There's so many of them. Yep. Rico's health as well. Dude. And there's cops spawning in, I can hear them. Is that it? Nope, there's more, of course there is. I'm dying to random cops. Holy fuck. Ah, oh, nice, dude. This is fair. <laughs> Please, Ellie, dropping four guys with SMGs right on top of me. That's fair. That's random, by the way. Nothing you can do about that. That's completely random. Crazy. So, so what is the deal here? Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do? I don't get it. It says kill the Haitians, but they seemingly infinitely spawn. Or is there just like 10,000 of them and you're supposed to know when to stop killing them? Like, the game just doesn't tell you anything. Like, if it's on a timer, then I might be better off just like running away. But then no, because what's his face will die because he doesn't like, you know, he doesn't follow you. So I don't really have a choice but to just stand and fight and hope that the police don't kill me. You are messing with the future. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's Thanks, Pondiel. Yeah, like, it does seem to be just stand in the middle with no cover, protect idiotic AI, and kill 500 enemies. You have to kill 35 enemies? Classic. And they all have, like, a disgusting amount of health. Like, it takes, like, 10 M4 bullets to kill one guy. It's fucking funny. 500 M4 ammo might not even be enough. I might need to farm more ammo. Can you run your lad over like you did with Lance on Rubout? Uh, he teleports to you, Root, but I can try. But I'm pretty sure the, uh, the script will reset his position regardless. But it's worth a try. Uh, I should look into getting that Haitian outfit as well. Bro. He didn't move for ages. Let's see. He didn't with you? I don't think so. But it might fail with him being stuck because it tries to teleport him. I lost him. I guess I didn't need him with me. Yeah. Like, it doesn't say that I need him the whole time, but then as soon as I hit the trigger, I can't get him.
Maybe I can like run up here and shoot from here. Nah, it's too far away. I'm just trying to think, is like any kind of vantage point before I trigger it? Not really. The only thing I can do is stand maybe like here, but then I'm going to be blocked by these, like... Or stand in like a corner so I can't get shot from behind. I don't know. I don't know. You could stunt inside with a PCJ, maybe. Can I get back out is the question. I guess I have to go this way. Well, the thing with the heli is I can blow it up. If oh, I could if I had a PSG, but I fucking don't. Because I've also lost that somehow, somewhere. I'll give it another go and then I'll grab a PSG. I don't think you've opened the gate from the inside. There's nothing here. Yeah. Where the fuck is he now? What are you doing, you spastic? Nice one, dude. Hello? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Come with me. Good boy. You know what, this might be better, actually. Do some real fucking damage with us. And I can also just, like, knock people down as well, which helps quite a bit. No. Switch. Dude, what is... What is it? Sometimes you just get stuck in, like, an animation. You just can't fucking switch at all. Well, no, I'm dead because of that. It's kind of manageable, though. For now, at least. comes Big Reek. I just took way too much damage at the start. You guys tank for me like I tanked for you. They have so much health, so I just need to focus on people going after me. Right now. And not accidentally kill any of them with a shotgun. Alright. Now we gotta do all of this as well. And the SWAT guys. Yep. Yep. They're still spawning from the roof as well. Fuck you. That is so cheap. After all that, you've then just got to do it all again, but also plant the fucking bombs. All of that with 100 health. 35 guys with like boss tier health while also defending AI. Also random police heli. Also fucking random police spawns that spawn in the compound. Like, oh my fucking God. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey! <sighs> Would chainsaw be good for spawn killing? Maybe. 
But it's rare that you're in melee distance without taking a ton of damage. I think Spaz 12 is the way to go. The DPS is just insane. You just want to not fuck up your inventory management. Haitian clothes? Yeah, we can try. So, whereabouts is the thing? You said it's opposite, like, the pizza place? Like, here? Which clothes shop are we talking about? It had nothing. Straight across from the pizza. Oh, here. Yeah. Cuban outfit and OG. I mean, we can check. But I'm pretty sure that just has the Cuban outfit. Mark has been moved. Havana? I can't pick it up. Oh, it's like that, is it? Classic. Well, not getting that due to another bug. What a decade. That's an original. You can't blame the mod dev for that. That's an original thing. Original. Yeah, definitely could have been fixed, but Whoa, man. You drive like a crazy bitch. it's not necessary for the mods, so. There's plenty of more things to complain about this mod compared to a small bug like that. That doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> I did say that, Tolio, but if you have any ounce of common sense, you can understand that I mean obviously small cosmetic bugs don't matter when you're making mods that barely have any difference on gameplay, but mission breaking bugs should absolutely be fixed even in mods. Can this mod be made even harder? What kind of a question is that? Vice City is okay with me. What in the fuck are you doing, Pepe, you fucking moron? He teleported to me the first two times. And now he's just trolling. Business before pleasure, no? You ready? Instantly lose fucking 20% of my health. Good shit. Oh, hey, look, a random gang of spawns that are spawned in that are shooting Pepe. Look at this. These are not part of the mission. These are just random. How cool is that? Pepe loses a good chunk of his health due to random bullshit. And I lose half of my health defending him. That's really fun and interactive. Keep shooting him by mistake now. Trying to make up for all the lost fucking health and shit.
Yep. Yep. Isn't that just so fucking fun? So fun. I guess if I don't get a voodoo, I can just take this one. Oye, let's go find our muchacho. Hey guys. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. And before also rigged, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a couple of them lodge. Cannon fodder has a couple of boss enemies that don't die to an M60 shot, but it's rare. Very rare. Whereas in this mod, pretty much every single enemy is a boss enemy. I've lost Pepe. Absolutely. First mistake. I just panicked and saw a lot of guys around Pepe and tried to deal with them. Because when they said point blank like this, it's so hard to not kill them. Yeah, he's fucking dead now. What am I doing, man? Look at this, though. It's just turned into such a fucking shit show. Because of all the fucking random fucking bullshit. Like, it was all going so well, and then the police heli brings down the SMG guys, and I have to kill them, otherwise they fucking instantly kill me. And I have to ignore the mission, and then I just fail. No, the SWAT guys are not scripted. They didn't happen the second time. They're completely random. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. This is 
a very risky move for you. Oye, let's go find our muchachos. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. 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 Isn't this so funny, just getting stuck waiting for the dialogue lines? This is so epic. I love it when the, the same dialogue line is spammed over and over again. It's so funny. Shooting the cops maybe is causing SWAT to spawn? Ah, yes. Absolutely. Not the mission being scripted to give me four stars, which causes the fucking SWAT to spawn. Nope, it must be my fault. Yep, there's another gang here again. Awesome. Yep, Pepe loses half of his health instantly because I had to kill the gang. And then it just goes tits up from there. Literally seconds into the mission, I got screwed. And now I'm on the massive back foot. Awesome. Really fun. It's already over. Yeah. Incredible. Truly incredible. Truly incredible stuff. Failed within seconds due to bullshit. How would I knock him over? Whoa, Have you tried getting rid of the Haitians before starting the cutscene? Let's let's run the footage back, shall we? Oh, they were there. All right, fair enough. I'll eat my words on that one. I was convinced that they weren't, but I didn't see them. I will accept the L and I apologize. But I was I was ready to put this footage because I could have sworn they weren't there. I will I will take the L on that one. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Nice angry driver. This is my punishment. Killing them will give you stars faster. It doesn't matter. I'm scripted to get four stars anyway. Hola, amigos. Oye, the salvage is around the back, amigos. 
Bueno, Hayes en putas. Muerte. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Salud, my compadres. Incrementally, could you start with zero stars? I don't know when I get the wanted level, but I get four stars. I don't think it increments. I think at some point I just get hit with four stars. I just don't know when because I can't really concentrate on that. I need to concentrate on killing people. Someone keep an eye out on the wanted level and tell me when I get stars. Oh, there's a group there. Fuck's sake. Well, they're in a decent spot, at least. I don't have to, like, go out of my way to shoot them. That's fine. Did I get two stars? At some point, I get four. But yeah, maybe it's just from killing people. Yeah, maybe it's not scripted. But it's, like, you know, kind of forced because I've got to kill all these guys. And I'm getting police attention for doing it. And obviously, if a cop spawns, I've got to kill him before he kills me. Because I can't run away from him, because I need to stand here. So I'm kind of forced to. But no, no, that was definitely a forced wanted level, I'm sure of it. I didn't commit any crime at the time of getting those stars. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Rico. Yeah, look at that. There's no way. Definitely scripted. 100%. This is bad. Really bad. Oh. Why, Rico? Yep, there's the five stars. And there goes all my health with it. Because look at the amount of fucking random damage I take from cops, dude. Like, now I've got 20 health and I'm just fucked. Like, I can just try and leave. It's the only thing I can try and do. It's just leave. And hopefully, like, be able to heal. Like, hopefully I can just leave them there and just go and heal and shit. And go and buy a fucking sniper rifle, for God's sake. How much of the game do I have left? I literally just have this mission and the final one. That's it. I've done everything else. Does pay and spray work? No. If it did, I'd be using it. Ask yourself, why would I sit here with a five star wanted level if I was able to get rid of it? Why would I do that? Fuck you, officer, don't you dare. I'm surprised you don't have giant overlay text. I'm not gonna compromise the quality of the viewing thing just for the 1% of people who ask dumb questions. But I understand your point. But, no. Maybe you're into BDSM, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, regardless of whether I'm into BDSM, it doesn't change the fact that the pain spray doesn't work, you know? 
Yeah, the Josh layout. Yeah, it's not that bad. Of course, I take fucking pot shots running back in. But 90 health is a lot more manageable. So let's give it a go. Let's clear out some people. Are these guys inv invincible now or what? Like, they're just fucking standing there. If they're taking the hits, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. This guy's a lot of health. Getting shot from one of them. That's the random cops. Those guys are just not attacking me at all. So everyone? One more up there. How are they getting in here? Fuck you, there's one more guy. Oh, there's so many cops everywhere. What are they doing up the fucking stairs, man? I literally make one fucking lapse in, it's not even a lapse in judgment. Like I didn't make a mistake there. I just didn't see him because of all the fucking cops in the building that I had to keep killing constantly. And after all that, we're gonna do the fucking fight all over again. For fuck's sake. Like, it's so ridiculous that the cops can spawn in there and fucking shoot you. So ridiculous. It's Pepe, not Rico. Fika. Not to be that guy, but actually. Yeah, Rico is dead, but somehow appears in this mission. Hey, Ichiro. Thank you. Oh, what's that? Let's take a drink. Twin? Maybe, yeah. Uh... Bro, how am I not hitting this guys? Seven, seven, 
Why is a heli spawning? I only have two stars. Is this, oh, it's fucking what's his face getting dropped off. I didn't know he got dropped off in a helicopter. What an entrance. Fuck, why did I do that? I just I just saw someone and panicked. It's surprisingly difficult to not just fucking shoot people. No matter if they're on your team or not. This is a good setup though. Like Rico is kind of chilling by himself or whoever it is, 1v1ing. I can just check him every now and again. What if you blow up the heli? I mean, it'll probably just kill what's his face, right? Ow. That's like all of my health gone. I managed to avoid five stars though this time, somehow. I'm gonna be safe and grab this because I'm on really low health. Yeah, it's not actually scripted. The two stars are, I think. Everything else is just from killing so many people. I got right to the end route and got killed by the last guy. So I didn't see that he was there. Nice cop. I didn't even mean to jump over that. I didn't even know it was coming. I just jumped at the right time and got really lucky. I'll take it. I don't like that. That's an unfortunate place for you guys to be. Well. Guess we're taking this back. Why does it give it a double confirmation though? It's weird. Yo DPS, you know it man. It's really fun and engaging. This fucking guy. Look at these cops, like where do you think they're coming from?
please. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm crazy. Literally frames away. I failed because I didn't get to the random trigger that is like undefined, but I assume it's the same as vanilla. I was like two steps away. <laughs> I s didn't stop sprinting quickly enough and missed the marker by like a second, that second bomb marker. You don't need to put it in sub mode, you can just put it in followers mode. So then everybody can talk except the bots. I think you literally just type slash followers. There you go. I panicked. I mean, I appreciate it. It was a good call to limit the chat anyway. Because of the bots, but yeah. I don't remember what it is in... In Titan. I don't remember. What did the fail message say? I don't know. Clip it and go back and look. I don't really care what it said. Didn't they teach bots first to follow a channel and then they didn't send a message? No. Because their, their accounts live like a matter of minutes before they get banned permanently on Twitch. So there's no point in... Like, they just post their message and that's it. They're gone. First bots I've seen in this chat ever. Yeah, I mean... They're pretty rare anyway, but also I have, like, quite a bit of spam protection on. Good night, PHP. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, says it regarding naval engagement, we looked into how the mission works. Well, I say we. Other people smarter than me looked into how the mission works. And we were able to come up with a strategy to avoid the crash. No, oh, fuck that guy. It doesn't. It doesn't even attack me. I do not follow Goss. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, last two missions. Cop spawns instantly, that's epic. Because I get cops way earlier than usual now. Because of that. He literally fucking rolled right into my shots.
Not damage that I like taking right at the end. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Go back early. Pretty good HP. Uh, three stars too, which is really good. Don't even have SWAT after my ass. Lost bike strips though. Gotta be careful. Have I played Mafia? Yeah, I have. I played the original three and the remake of one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You really want to fight? No, Rosie. If there was another way, I would be doing it. It is not possible to lower your wanted level without glitches or cheats. Aside from stupid answers like dying and failing the mission. Loading your save. Stupid shit like that. I'm gonna animation cancel on the bombs this time as well. That's something I didn't do last time, which I should do, because it saves time. It's only a really small amount of time, but everything makes a difference in this bit. I saw you, something I didn't see. I see you. Look at this guy. What a fucking troll. No, you fucking don't. That is crazy. You have to be... That That is a perfect run. I even used a minor glitch to save time that you wouldn't know as a casual, and I made it with frames left. That's fucking crazy. That's like the tightest timer I've ever seen. That is crazy. I don't even know if that's possible without um, animation cancelling. What glitch? It's not really like a glitch. It's more of like an exploit. So... If you have a weapon out, like an M4, and you right-click, you immediately stop in a marker. So you're able to sprint, switch and right-click, and you'll immediately trigger a marker without having to stop. Whereas if you usually stop, you do that weird stumble animation, like that. So it saves like half a second per marker. And yeah, that was the, that was the only way. Yeah, I'll save. Yeah, that's crazy. Really, really crazy. Do we get Half-Life if we finish fast? I mean, yeah, sure. I'll play a bit of Half-Life if I... 
if I finish this early. Yeah, this is it. We've done every single other mission now. Including the ones that I didn't think we would even do. All we have left is KYFC. Yeah, that's a big if. I have a I have a feeling that this mission is gonna be awful. Like one of the worst ones. Because there is so many things you can do with this mission to make it just completely unplayable. Like with Titaned, it's so hard because of all the shotgun guys. Infinite spawning shotgun guys. All it takes. One change. Infinite shotgun guys. And it just becomes hey, fucking awful. Oh, wonderful. Incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No wimps, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you... What was your strat for this mission? What, for, uh... Trojan Voodoo? The, the only hard part is the... The big fight. Where you have to kill the 35 guys. And I used the Spaz 12 and just stunlocked them all to the ground. All right, let's see it. Last one. I'm gonna go for speed on strats worth first, because why not? The mafia are trying to steal your money, protects all three of your saves. Oh, come on. Okay. One of your saves has been stolen from, and you have a thousand money. I assume you run out of money and fail. So you can't like AFK either, but I'll check. You've also not- you can't lose your guys as well, I think, yeah. Alright, let's scout this out a bit. We've got to deal with our gang as well. So where are the safes? Jesus fucking Christ. Is a safe in here? Shotguns. I knew it. Yep. <laughs> Good shit. I told you. Stun locking shotguns, that's all you need to make this mission completely unplayable. Don't push the Mario man. Get the fuck out of the way, you fucking idiots. Yep, look at this. I'm dead. Completely stun locked from 100 to 0. Parking a car would get despawned. If you tried to park a car in there, wouldn't work. Fight fire with fire. Fuck you. Where's the other safe? Upstairs. Where upstairs? Here. Where's the third one? Because I, I can stand here for safety from all the guys with guns. But if they steal from my safe, I need to go and deal with them. Yeah, they're going downstairs again. Yeah. Boys. They have Spaz 12s too. They don't just have regular shotguns, they have fucking Spaz 12s. It's fucked up. I assume these guys are scripted to run instantly in, and I can just beat them to it. Yeah, this guy is scripted. His weapon is seemingly random, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get between safe one and safe two. Because if you even try, you're just fucked. Yeah, I could maybe try and nade them like through the stairs or something. I don't know. And try and like stand here. Doesn't work, it's too high. <sighs> Maybe the other way around. Maybe throw grenades from, uh... From downstairs to upstairs. Oh. 
Doesn't work. Fucking hell, man. Am I standing on the right upstairs? Oh, yeah, and shoot both of them? That's not a bad idea. These guys sprint in as well, which is proper messed up. How long did the phone mission take you? Like 10 hours, I think. Somebody's in that bottom one now. I need to go down. That's the thing is, these guys run around the corner if you miss them, so it's just like fucked. I have so much health, dude. And they just like infinitely run in so quickly. Like the second you kill them. Yeah, I can try and I can try and wall bang them through the wall. Can try it. Standing on the right hand side definitely was the move. Hey. It's like not even worth killing people. Apart from if they go for the safes. Because it's just they in they respawn again right away, instantly. to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? I knew I wouldn't be able to get a quick kill on him. Molotovs, too. Come here, you double-crossing piece All of right, shit! Alright, well, at least there's no... Okay, so we don't have to deal with the random winds respawning guys now, which is good. Okay. We go outside? We can. No, we can't. The second you walk outside, you die instantly. Isn't that fun? Sniped by a... Who, who said, by the way, who was it? One of you said about KYC that I was going to get sniped by some random guy. That literally happened. Whoever, whoever it was, you predicted it. Congratulations. Amazing. All right, but we've got a strat. The guy that sniped you in Robot is still there, yeah, legit. Hey, give me a break. Yeah, this is the move. Just pre-fire the guys going for the saves. Or whiff and look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's try not whiffing that shot, shall we? The timers on this mission are one minute from mission start until Lance spawns. And then two minutes after mission starts, as long as Lance is dead, Sunny spawns. Those are the requirements. 
This guy with the revolver is just not missing. I think their guns are legit random, by the way. That guy did not have a revolver last time. Yeah, and now he has a Mac-10. It's literally RNG what guns they have when they come in. How cra- how fucking crazy is that? Fuck's sake, it's over. Unless I can get lucky and just wait until Lance spawn Lance in before I fail. Yeah. Nice. No one to cover <laughs> your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Alright, well, the only way to go through is downstairs. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! I took a ton of damage because of the random weapons. The... I had a feeling someone would be there. Yeah. There might be health downstairs if I'm lucky. These guys aren't random. They're all scripted in because they all have really high amounts of health. Kazo, welcome. Let's see what the uh, the Lance fight is all Your about. History, Tommy! History! Alright. Oh my god, look at his hell. And I can't see because of the fucking sign. He's really just gonna run at me with uh, fucking Molotovs. Number one priority, blow these fucking things up. This is the last dance for Lance fans. Cool. I said I had a guy spawned behind me. Look at look when I unpause, look look to my back right. A guy spawned behind me. Even though there's a fucking fence there, he just like clipped through, I guess. Do you have an M60? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I actually have really good weapons. I'm just choosing to not use them because I'm a fucking moron. I forgot I need to kill the bottom guy. Not thinking. Yeah, I could try and chainsaw him, yeah. That's so fair. That's so fair. Getting one shot is so fair. Do you have a weapon shop in Phil's place in Hardline? Yeah, it has all the greatest weapons. I'm just choosing not to use it because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm such a bad player. I'm choosing to use weak weaponry for absolutely no reason. Remember that. There's an RPG there. 
M60, minigun, you name it. But I'm just not smart enough to think of that very basic game mechanic. Yep, that's fair. This guy has a spaz 12, so I'm dead. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Completely random. <clears throat> it just feels like deja vu. Because every time I die, all I can say is nothing I can do about that. Relax. And it sounds stupid, but it's true. A guy spawning up there with a spaz 12 is completely random. And if it happens, I'm dead. And even if I kill him, there's equal chance he spawns with a worse weapon. Like, I can't believe that he made the rap the, the random guys that spawn in have random weapons. It's just so hilarious. Like, what was he thinking? At any time, a Vasetti gang member can kill this guy and he'll spawn in with a pass 12 and I'm dead. Fuck's sake. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! <laughs> Classic. I should have known that they had infinite accuracy, infinite damage. Should have known. Should have known. Every enemy does. Why do I ever expect them to not be bullshit? Every single enemy in this mod. 100% accurate, M4 will kill you in an instant. Every single fucking time. This guy spawned with an assault rifle, half my health gone, out of my control. He spawned with a shotgun. He has another assault rifle. down you backstabbing prick oh you think so come here you double crossing piece of shit yeah there is a health book up in the bar but it's not gonna help you 30 health or 50 health doesn't make a difference because these guys will one shot you from full health if you're not careful this guy especially. They also have random weapons, by the way. That guy had an M4 last time and insta-killed me. All these guys have random weapons. So at any point, they could pull out a Spaz-12 and kill me. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Aside from get really lucky and get a quick shot off on him. And random accuracy. 
are you saying that as a like just a random thing or are you actually being serious they actually have random accuracy everything about the spawns is random wow well that that is like the craziest thing random accuracy that is such a fucking slap in the face to people who have bothered to play this piece of shit mod this far. That's fucking crazy. Random accuracy. What a fucking joke. Your history, Tommy. You remember when I said before how like it's incompetency versus like pure bullshittery? That is just pure bullshittery. Like that is just being a fucking twat for no reason. I got all the barrels. He's melee proof. Cool. Of course, a good strategy patched out. How dare you try and be smart? Their health is random too. Fuck. You have to shoot him first? Why would you have to shoot him first? Doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. It actually makes sense that all these guys have random accuracy. Because that guy has a Mac 10. But he's extremely accurate and would have killed me if I didn't kill him. That's really funny. Like the amount of people defending this mod and talking about me like all I do is cry about, oh, it's so random, wah, 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 when it's not actually random and it's actually my fault. Like... Defend this mission, where literally everything is coded to be random. Absolutely everything. And they'll still find a way to defend it. There is people defending this? Yeah. I get a lot of people in, in my YouTube comments, like, shitting on me. For complaining about this mod and criticizing it. I get all sorts of, like, people either defending the mod, shitting on me for being bad, saying that I cry too much about it being random when it is and I have proof. Give me a break, asshole. I, I get everything. Yep. That guy's 100% accurate, so I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it. The mission decided for that guy to be down there, 100% accurate, instantly dead. The mission's over. But remember, every mission, including this one, is beatable consistently if you're good enough and you know what you're doing. Remember? A good player would simply get really low accuracy spawns. It's all based on your skill. I think I've lost here, but I'll I'll wait it out and see if I get lucky. Yeah. 
it might trigger just before. Nah, no, I don't think it will. This guy's 100% accurate. This guy's really accurate too. I'm dead. There's no point in throwing a grenade scissor because then that guy's health is random every time he spawns. So if he has enough health to eat a grenade, it's a waste of a grenade. There's no point. I'm much better trying to crit him with an M4 because then he dies regardless of his health. If they had fixed health values, that would be a good strat, but there, there is no strategy for this. It's literally designed to just get lucky and win. Like, we, we joked for so long about the missions being like, flip a coin and win. But this mission is literally designed that it's pure luck. It's intended to be that way. If you're wondering, the enemies can roll the dice between these weapons. Colt, Python, Shotgun, Spaz-12, Sawn-Off, Tech-9, Uzi, Mac-10, MP5, M4, Ruger. So like 70% of those guns are just dead. Like it's not even 50-50 good and bad weapons. It's 70% of the time they'll get a gun that will just kill you instantly. Hilarious. One to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Yo, Simsatina, that's about as far as I'm going to go with that really long ass name. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. I'll get this just in case, you never know. And it might not be there afterwards to like save it anyway. I guess in hindsight, I should have killed all these guys and then went up and went down and healed. So I don't potentially lose more health. But whatever. Worked out. Okay. Um... What's the plan here? Somebody mentioned about like dropping grenades at my feet. That could work. Spaz 12 could also work. Try and stun lock him. We can give them a try. You're 
history, Tommy! History! Oh, and apparently you can also, if you shoot him, you can also then chainsaw him. We can try that. That did work, I think. He took a bit of damage, though. Oh, fuck off did that hit me. That was nowhere near me. <laughs> That's really funny. Through, through a Molotov, it didn't hit me, and then he just chooses to pull out the fucking thing. Just one tap me. <sighs> you try throwing a nade at the hallway before you walk into the lance cutscene trigger? What, to like try and nade him like here you mean? To like knock him away? I'm pretty sure doesn't, as soon as you lose control of Tommy, yeah, they, they, des they despawn to stop you getting blown up in cutscenes and stuff. Doesn't work. Are the boxes on the roof climbable? They're destructible. So even if I could climb them, they just get blown up, I think. That guy's 100% accurate at the top, so it's over. How we do Bombs Away? Maybe Bombs Away doesn't have that check. Like, I don't know. I haven't read the entire code for these missions. They allow access to save parts, true. I mean, I can try. Guys, killing too many of my Vasetti guys. Stabbing prick. Oh, you think so? <sighs> Come here, you double crossing piece of shit. Dude, I, I, you surely understand that I'm getting like 700 different strategies to try at once. I can't do them all at the same time. Sometimes I just forget in the moment. Like, this is hard enough as it is. Hello, El Pando, welcome. Yeah, the fire is scripted to burn infinitely. It would have gone out by now, if not. Doesn't work. I wanna kill these guys too. He ate that. He doesn't get knocked over either, I don't think. No, he doesn't. Like he he does the bit with the 
the Molotovs, which force you to go out of the cover. And then at some point, I don't know if it's random or on a timer or what, he just pulls out his M4. And if you're not in cover, then you're dead. 100%. Like, you, you can't stun him at all. Fuck. Yo, Sizzib. See you later, man. Easy. He's not explosion proof. He just took no damage from the nade. And when I mean non, I mean like he took some damage, but it was. It would take like a hundred grenades to kill him. Like his health is. He must have like fucking 10,000 health or something. Like a crazy amount. You parked a heli on the roof, would it despawn? Yes. 99% sure. 8,000? Yeah, so. I was joking with 10,000, but I wasn't even that far off. That's the funny part. Hello, Muska. Unheadshotable enemies. No this isn't San Andreas. Now, hey, Tommy, you're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double crossing piece of shit. I prefer this version to the original. I wonder if there's anything here. Like behind the fire. No. Would be a cool place to put like a secret or something. But... That's cool. The barrels moved and it just made him able to shoot right through them. Instantly dead. Hey, watch the suit, man. This guy decided to have 100% accuracy, so I'm just dead. Just like that.
how trashy is this mission so far? Would you believe me if I told you, Mr. Robota, that literally everything about this mission is random? The random spawns come in, and their weapon is randomized, their health is randomized, and their accuracy is randomized. So, you have a lot, like a 1% chance of making it through, no, no matter how well you play. Now, hey, Tommy. You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Hello, oh, Aliko. you think so? Worse than auto side? Well, it depends on how you define like better or worse. Because auto side was very random. Come here, you double crossing piece but of shit. not everything about it was random. Whereas this mission, literally everything is random. Yeah, apparently it's also random whether they're critable or not. Fuck you. Dance for Lance Pants. I said I had enough of that at school. <laughs> don't risk it. We don't need this. Wrong side, Lance. <sighs> There's still more of them. They're still coming. You did what? Okay. Now it's just me versus Sonny. I just need to get there and somehow kill him. The hell's respawns, thank god. Why you do that? Okay, here goes nothing. You took fifteen years. He has an M sixty. And now I'm gonna make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. He's just running right at me with the M60. Two bullets. <laughs> Two bullets. Two fucking bullets. Yeah, I should have tried the spares. Maybe I could have stunlocked him or something. I just, I just didn't think. You just, you just don't think in the moment, you know. <sighs> just like that, two shots. In hindsight, I should have run around here. 
looped around. Get more of like an open space to run about in. Going into that office is like suicide. It's so small. Like, you, there's, there's no cover. I assume so, Mr. Robota, but I don't know, because I it hasn't happened yet. I reset because I let one of the- well, I didn't let him. The guy had a random amount of health that was higher than the damage I could do with the M4. And he ran in there and uh, is attacking the safe. And I can't get in there without getting insta-killed. I have to kill him beforehand. I have to kill two rounds of them. Both of these guys. The third guy, if I miss, it's fine. Because he won't be able to steal all the money. As long as he's the only one doing it before uh, land spawns. And when land spawns, the money doesn't matter anymore. So yeah, I'm literally just resetting for good luck, basically. The gameplay no is the same. Now, eh, it's Tommy? just resetting You're for a lucky down, spawn. Prick. Oh, you think so? Like that section before luck, uh, before Lance is pure luck. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Tommy, history. Twenty throws four Molotovs. This is the last dance for Lance fans. Why did you uncrouch, you fucking dick? Go. Tommy, I fucking hate you sometimes. Why? Why did Tommy just randomly uncrouch? I didn't press it. Easy. Reload? He doesn't uncrouch when reloading. So, 
You can reload. The script seems to send inputs of some sort. What? Like, the script, like, sometimes uncrouches me randomly, you mean? No way. What was that? Emulate button press. What the fuck? So, so the dev is forcing me to press buttons in the fight. Like, ran randomly choosing me to shoot or uncrouch. So that was literally the developer just getting me killed mid-fight. Wow. The, the entire thing being random is already, like, pathetic enough. But then also act actively the dev just killing you as well. Because at any point the dev can just like uncrouch you and just you'll instantly die to lands. Just randomly in the script. That is so fucking gross. Like, I, I cannot describe in words. I can't think of a word like nasty enough to describe how fucking shitty that is for a developer to do. Yeah, it might not be true, but I don't know. That that line seems pretty fucking damning to me. That is really gross. He doesn't get stunned, Mr. Roboto. I don't understand why I'm being recommended new ways to kill Lance no when my way works down, perfectly hey, well. Tommy, you're going down, you backstabbing prick. The only oh, reason I died so. that last time is because the game forced me to uncrouch. That doesn't mean my strategy Come doesn't here, you work. Double piece of shit. That guy was like 100% accurate, by the way. He pre-fired me instantly. I usually have it before stream, Swank Funk. I usually eat at like... 6-ish. And then stream afterwards. If I was to eat late, I'd be eating at like 11 or something, which is way too late to be eating dinner. Like eating food that late before you go to bed is like really bad for you because your body like doesn't digest it at all. Your history, Tommy! History! For Lance I said I had enough of that at school. I'm taking so much fucking damage from those guys. <sighs> Again, I swear that Molotov didn't hit me.
I'm just taking so much damage from those fucking random NPCs. Have a five minute timeout. Literally 60 seconds apart backseating me when I just said to not fucking keep giving me advice when I didn't ask for it. Talk to me. What happened to you? <laughs> the developer must be a really good player if he can beat that. Crazy. Literally a skill issue. Look out. I begged a dev to stream him playing the game. I would love to see that. The developer playing through all missions of this and beating every single mission consistently like he claims he could. I would pay a lot of money to see that. I said that like all the way at the start of this playthrough. It would be brilliant. I would pay so much money to see that. Where did all my health go? Could have sworn I had some HP at some point. <laughs> Oko hardlined when, considering that almost every mission forces you to take damage. Never. Well, I've done them, Mimi, so only you can answer that if you've missed them or not. Yo, Patrick. No, I haven't been at this the whole three hours. I've been at this for, like, maybe an hour. Hey. How awful is this? Uh, so what we've discovered so far is every enemy that spawns in, they have random guns, they have random health, they have random accuracy, and also then you have to fight Lance in a small arena, but the script emulates inputs. So to give you an example as to how ridiculous that is, uh, there was a bit where I was crouched behind some barrels and the script forced me to uncrouch, which stood me up and got me killed. Like it got me out of cover and I didn't press the button. The game pressed it on my behalf to get me killed. Guessing this will be uninstalled very quickly once you're done. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm never touching this mod again after I'm done with this mission. Unless it's for like a massive charity incentive or something. Higher than Ebold? Oh, yeah. What did I do to you? What'd you do that for?
What is the first thing you would say or ask the dev about this mod? I wouldn't ask the developer anything. But what I would say is I would offer them a year's salary, a bet, if they are able to provide proof of them streaming this mod and getting through the missions on a consistent basis. Yeah, true, Patrick. Give me a break, asshole. Yo, Liam, welcome. Was there anything from this mod that you liked? No. All the good stuff has just been done better by other people. This mod has zero redeeming qualities. It is by far the worst mod I've ever played. It used to be Sindako Chronicles, but Hardlined has absolutely, like... Sindako Chronicles was like a 4 out of 10. This is a 0. Someone would have to actively try to make a mod that is worse quality than this. And I do not say that lightly. Yeah. This mod makes Sindarko Chronicles look no like a fucking Mona Lisa now, masterpiece. Hey, Tommy, you're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! You can see my playthrough of it on YouTube, Tony. In both unedited on the VOD channel and edited formats on the main channel. For Lance Vance. I said I had enough of that at school. Nothing I can do about that. I had to turn around and kill the guy. I'm on 2 HP. I'm dead. We're trying, but I'm dead. I don't know what Molotov count he's on now either. I had to kill that guy behind me, otherwise he would kill me, and Lance just happened to pull out the Molotovs. He spawns on the roof and jumps over the gate, Apache. At least I think so. It's kind of hard to tell with all the fucking chaos going on. 
Ага. If this is a 0 out of 10, what would Titan get? Titan Vice is the best mod I've ever played. In terms of like creative ideas and um... Creative ideas and like polish. Titan Vice is like an 8. It's really good. Titan Thrice started off bad. It was in a bad state when it released. I would have put it at like a 5. It needed quite a lot of work, but now that is up to like a seven or an eight as well. Is Titan Thrice still a five star simulator? It does have a lot of issues with uh, being forced to pay and spray all the time, like Nabnoob, yeah. Prick. That's oh, why I don't see them so? as 10 out of 10s, because they still do have faults in my opinion. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Yeah, say her own was peak. I'm glad you liked it. Is Sindako infuriating or just badly designed? It's infuriating because it's badly designed. Yo, MT, welcome. Yes, and Darko Chronicles had LCS controls. Yeah. Your history, Tommy! History! Why does that sometimes happen? Sometimes the barrels move and it just causes me to take a fuckload of damage from lands that I can't really avoid because I don't know it's happening until it's too late. Yep, that's the uncrouch. I said I had enough of that at school. Ow. Wrong side, Lance. I told myself, Mario, take it easy. <sighs> all right. Do all this to get here just to have another fucking boss fight. <sighs> we'll try to spaz twelve. You took 15 years from me, Sonny. I'm gonna try and run up as well. Pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Not gonna run into the office. Mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. You know what?
I don't even know where Sunny is. I think he's directly below me. Yeah, he is. That's fair. He's shooting me through the wall, this guy. Yep. That's really fair. Shot through the fucking wall. Just gross. It's really fucking gross. So he has 8,000 health too. Probably. Can you guys fucking move, please? Where is he? The, the irony of that coming down to a coin flip. I knew he was on one of the sides, but you couldn't tell which one. I looked left, of course he was right. All came down to a coin flip. After all that coin flip. And I lost it. Because of course I did. I've been doing this mission for like an hour and a half. These shoes are new. Yep, that was fair. Definitely had a winning shot there. You drunk or something?
one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Game crashed. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry to ruin your uh, comfy vibes, though. What'd you do that for? Yep. <laughs> I didn't know it like this. Yep.
I've only been playing for like an hour and a half, Stripey. I did other missions before that. I did naval engagement and Trojan video as well. Have you thought of your final words when you finish this? No, I won't really have any. There isn't really much to say that hasn't already been said through this 40 hours of just anguish. Was no the... one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! History, Tommy! History! That's the uncrouch. This is the last dance for Lance Pants. I said I had enough of that at school. side Lance oh, Oops. Uh, go going upstairs was definitely the move having Sonny downstairs. The, the vantage point was definitely me, the way Sonny. to go. If I can just get him in a better position, I might just be able to stun lock him to I death with grenades. You, Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing.
But when he's in this corner, I don't think there's a lot I can do. It's so hard to see which one he even is as well. There he is. Am I even touching him? Is he bulletproof? No way. I'm sh no, there he is. No, 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 no. Don't risk this. I can kill him here. I've just gotta I've just gotta relax. <sighs> I don't have a lot of them for though. Can't see him. Just chill. Just chill. There's way too many guys. I need to clone them out a little bit. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? <clears throat> yes! Let's fucking go! Come on! I'm the best! I'm the fucking best player in the world! Fuck you, developer! I'm so much better than you! Let's go! Yes! Fucking get in! Woo! Oh, that felt better. I just had to let all that emotion out. I just had to let it all out. The thir 30 hours of just pure fucking pain and misery. <sighs> Feels good. Feels fucking good. <sighs> I'll give you uh, one final hurrah. Since you asked so nicely.
Here we go. Uh, my camera's in the way. Hardlined. Goodbye. Forever. Victory. Has never tasted so sweet. Ah. Oh, oh, the feeling of being done with this shit. <sighs> Feels great. Final words um, to the developer. If he ever sees this, like, you know, jokes, memes, rage aside, um, you. If this whole thing was a joke and you were intentionally making a mod that was designed to piss people off then I salute you, sir. You did a fantastic job. You've trolled us all. However, if you were intending for this to be a legitimate mod in the space of Titan clones, you really need to do a lot more work. Um, game crashing dozens of times in a playthrough is unacceptable. Some of the missions, like the final one, is absolutely unacceptable in terms of how ridiculous it is. And it gets to the point where the mod isn't even difficult. It is just like unfun. Like we, we, we joked about the idea of like starting a mission and flipping a coin and 50, 50 heads or tails decides whether you like pass the mission or not. That is what the final mission is legitimately. Like players are not going to enjoy playing that mission regardless of whether it's like, oh, it's a hard mod, so it's intended to be hard kind of thing. But yeah, some of your ideas are fantastic. Some of the, like the driver, for example, is a really cool concept. Um, rub out is a cool concept. The idea of having a big boss fight with Diaz at the end, like a proper one. You've got some really cool ideas, but it needs a ton of work before you can like say this is a definitive done project and I am down to help you. I QA test a lot of different things, some of which you'll be seeing on my stream in due course, some of which you've already seen on my stream. I, I worked in QA. I've, I've done it professionally and I will help you if you want help. I am okay to do that. But yeah, some, some things, some things need to change before another potential mod comes out. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever see it, but just in case, you know, I wanted to have a serious conversation, you know, that isn't just a uh, hoodoo mod bad XD. Because this mod does have some great ideas conceptually, but the execution is the problem. Like, it is borderline unplayable in its current state. Not because of the difficulty, but just because of all the bugs and all the crashes. And it is... When you have a difficult mod like this, that every single, you know, minute counts, every second counts, every pixel counts when you're, like, using exploits and stuff to win. Having, like, crashes that aren't your fault, having, you know, bugs failing missions that aren't your fault just like is never going to work out yeah anyway uh thank you all very much for joining um thank you as well to uh julian for gifting a sub thank you much appreciated and n ross as well for five months thank you very much appreciate you guys uh half-life sadly don't have any time because it's already 10 o'clock it's already pushing it um but yeah, sadly no time for it. But I will definitely do some, if not this week, I'll do some on the weekend for sure. Um, but we might do some midweek as well. We'll see. But I definitely am going to play some Half-Life soon, promise. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, the last thing I wanted to do actually is I wanted to poll the next mod. Because I, ha I have a list. Hold on. I have a list with mods on that people have recommended. And you guys, because you were here for the ending, you get to decide what the next mod I play is.
How exciting is that? Uh, where about is my list? Here is my list. So hardlined, I can take that off. So let's make a poll. Uh, which mod should I play next? So first one is Frosted Winter. The classic, one of the one of the first total conversions ever done that I never finished before. Uh, the second one is the SA Russia mod. I think it's called like what Criminal Underground. I think it is. You guys all know what I mean. You guys are familiar with uh, with mods. I think it's called Criminal Underground in San Andreas. Let me double check though. Criminal Underworld, I think. Or is it Criminal Russia? Hold on, let me check. I've got, I've got the EXE downloaded. It'll probably have a name on it. Uh, do, 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 San Andreas it is Criminal Russia. Okay. SA Criminal Russia. What was the third one? Uh, the Terminator mod, right? Terminator, what is it called? Terminator 2? Terminator 2 Judgment. Yes. SA Terminator 2 mod. All right. I'll give you two minutes to decide while I um, find someone to write. And bear in mind as well, if one doesn't win, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to play it. It's just like the order, you know? So whichever one you decide, I'll play first. Not that I'll play at all. Because I still do want to play Frosted Winter and stuff regardless. Not gonna lie, all these options just shit. But you're welcome to suggest a better mod. Also, it, speaking of that, if you guys have a mod that you think would be cool for me to play, uh, let me know in the chat and I'll add it to the list. I'll put the music back on for a bit. Oh, the challenge, of course. If, if Polyvalod can help me get it running on my PC, we can redo the poll with uh, the challenge as well, in case people want to see that. I completely forgot the, to write that down. Fixed it? All right. Can I send it on Discord? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, GTA Liberty City 3 on VC's engine is a fun one. Yeah, I, I have seen, I remember you sending that to me, Rob, but my only concern is that I didn't know if there would be like enough content, you know? If all the missions and stuff are the same, like I didn't know if it would be different enough. Zombie Andreas. I've heard about the San Andreas zombie mod. I can write that down. Uh, SA Zombies one. Okay, Terminator one, but we're going to run it back with the challenge included as well. Okay. Which mod again? Lameo. Responses. Uh, Frosted Winter. SA Criminal Russia. SA Terminator 2 mod. And SA The Challenge. I guess I'll put three for Frosted Winter. So oh, cool. Okay, run it back again. Stop the count. <laughs> I'm rigging it. Sorry. Go again. See if people want the challenge. A lot of people do. Okay, fair enough. Good thing I added it then. 
What's the challenge about? It's a hard mode mod for uh, San Andreas. Kind of similar to Titan, very similar thing. But it's been in the works for a while. And Polly the Lord, who's uh, in the chat, is the developer of it. Do you want early access 1.5? Um, give me whatever the newest version is, hopefully with the most fixes. Because, yeah, I, I don't remember what version I tried to play originally. It might have been 1.0, and it legit, like, crashed every single time I tried to boot it. Not as bullshit as Hardlined. I don't think any mod on the planet is as bullshit as Hardlined. Do you announce your stream somewhere? Yes. Uh, Twitch notifications are terrible, Stripey. So I would recommend either joining my Discord or following me on Twitter, because I always post in both of those when I'm live. 1.5 fixes compatibility, etc. All right, then, yeah, send me that. That's probably the best one, right? All right, looks to be the challenge. Oh, we can do that. GG for finishing this mod. Thank you for being here. I, I appreciate you all stopping by for my rantings and my ramblings. All right, let's see who there is to raid in the meantime. Uh, do, 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 do. Fudge is live. Kyle is live. GTA vs. Vice City first time ever playing. Huge. Kyle playing Vice City. What a fucking weird time to be alive. All right. The challenge won. No worries. We're, we will do that next time. All right. In the meantime, go and say hi to Kyle. Wishing the best of luck playing VC for the first time. Uh, oh, I modded him by mistake. Whoops. <laughs> That's the wrong command. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Slash raid. Kyle does it. There we go. All right. Go and say hi to Kyle. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by. Uh, obviously, if you missed any of the hardline stuff, they'll be up on the VOD channel. They'll be up on the main channel, edited soon across the coming weeks. And I will see you for the next stream later on this week. Have a good one. Have a good week if I don't see you. Bye-bye. Mwah. <laughs>